for Herbert Hoover High School. It marks the beginning of a brand new chapter as this new high school will open up for students for the first time. Anna Saunders got an inside look and joins us live in the studio. So, Anna, how was it? It was amazing, Dave. Now, for students, parents, staff, the Elk River community, it has been a long seven years, all leading up to tomorrow. We're talking about a 180,000 square foot state of the art high school that will open its doors to an area that has been through so much. The main academic wings down there, which I will show you guys in a minute. Here we have everything on this side of the hallway is athletics. Everything on this side of the hallway is music and art. For seven years, they have not had a building to call their own. But that all changes tomorrow as the $100 million Herbert Hoover High School facility will open for the first time. Families and, and children have stuck with us all the way since the flood. We have continued to achieve at a level higher in every aspect, academics, extracurriculars. So I'm super proud of my kids and of this community. The new facility features separate wings for academics, uh, arts, and athletics, complete with modern technology, furniture, and equipment. Two gyms, a new weight room, and locker rooms make up the athletics wing, new choir, band, and art facilities in the wing over, classroom, and collaborative space, as well as a career and technical center on the academic academic side, but what Principal Mike Kelly says is his favorite part will arrive tomorrow. My favorite part of this building is the people that are going to be in it. People who have been waiting a long time for this. After the 2016 floods destroyed the high school, students spent the first year in Elkview Middle and then have spent the past six years in portables. After years of construction delays and FEMA red tape, Board President Tracy White says the final result makes it all worth it. Eventually you run out of adjectives because I mean you're like wow this is amazing wow this is phenomenal and every adjective fits this school like this school has been this community has waited so long for this school but this school is phenomenal like this is the school that they have been waiting for. The construction work will continue before the school is officially complete. Kelly said he anticipates first day of school mistakes with buses and car traffic, but staff will be guiding students through the first day to get them accustomed. He said if there is one thing the community knows how to do, it's adapt. And maybe in a couple of months, then, then I can maybe sit down and think about how I feel about all of it. Obviously, I'm excited for our community, and I'm excited for our staff and for our children. And, um, but it is still, we're, we're still in a sprint to the finish. Now, as he said there, there is still a lot of work to be done both inside the school and outside. So students, parents and staff can still expect to see those construction crews over the next few months. Live in the studio, Anna Saunders, Eyewitness News. Thanks for watching. Here's another video from Eyewitness News. Make sure you click right here to subscribe to our channel and make sure you hit the bell notification for the latest.